Well, hello world. Welcome to Raccoon Point Studios. I'm Sean Bombs, and today I am just playing some uh, doomed kind of tones through the JVM 410. And I have the, let's see here, I have the ox box up with the thick cabinet 4x12 greenback 25s, 100 watts. I have a 57, a dynamic 421, and a superior drummer will be playing some drums for me right now. So that's that. And then I have over here a Moog that I might engage. I've been messing around with it. Um, it's my wife's pedal uh, that she uses for bass occasionally. And then uh, I have the JHS Screamer and the Black Arts Tone Works Destroyer, which I find to be annihilating. And um, the Marshall is the only uh, amp I have that can actually handle the Black Arts Tone bleh, the Black Arts Tone Works Destroyer. It's a lot. What's up with these pedal companies and their long names? Black Art Tone Works, Old Blood Noise Endeavors. I don't I don't know. So anyway, that's what's going on here today. Um so I don't see anybody. I don't know if anyone's watching, but this is another test for me, uh trying to work out the kinks in the studio and getting my ratio of audio no, dialogue to music just right for live consumption and also getting a workflow down that allows me to cut the mic easily um, and switch. So for any of you A10 mini nerds, I have that uh, Mix Effect Pro on the iPad so I can switch. Um, I'll show you here. So I can switch, there's the, the app. And even though I have the A10 Mini pretty close to me, it's a little easier when I'm playing because I can reach that a lot easier than, oh, I have to reach over cables and such to get to the A10. And then also I find it's easier for me to just hit the, to hit the console button right there it's a bigger button than the a10 mini and i can uh cut i can cut the cut the vocal so when i'm ready to play i don't have issues so that's the thing i'm gonna mess around and i'm gonna show you what the marshall is right now it's on the crunch channel but on the red so it's the highest gain of the crunch channel and to me the the best channels for me are the super clean channel and the crunch channel. After that, it's a noisy mess for me, but you know. Uh, so I am going to show you the show you the channel now. Hopefully that's all coming out just right. Um, so, and now I'm going to engage the screamer and then I'll go to the black arts. It's got two circuits in there. So I'll do the screamer first.
So that's pretty crazy how much uh, the screamer can really gain up the the amp and the drive. If you look, let me see. Oops, and the drive. Don't know how good you can see that because it's white and whatever. But the drive is here, and that's a little bit more than quarter way up. Um, volume's not even at noon. And the tone is, I don't know, around around one o'clock. So it's getting a lot of gain or, you know, sponginess from that, which I dig. So that's cool. All right. Let me see something here. Okie doke. All right. So that doesn't need to be on either. All right, so sorry about that. So next I'm going to engage the destroyer. And first I'm going to do the left. First I'm gonna do this side, which gets quite loud. <laughs> I forgot to turn the mic off when I played that last one, and then I turned it off when I went to go talk to you. So I apologize. Let's do that again, this time with the mic off so you don't hear it twice.
All right, so now I'm gonna roll back the volume knob on my guitar and engage both uh, circuits on the destroyer and you'll see how it kind of cleans up and it doesn't uh, uh, muck out, you know, like on the bottom when I was palm muting, you can really hear it start to woof um, and morph. And, and I like that, but just let's see how it, how it reacts when I turn this, roll the volume back on the guitar. And you'll hear a huge difference. So a lot of different tones you can get with that. It is noisy and you only have a volume on this, uh, the right circuit. Um, so it's, it's very limiting, but if you, if it's your only sound, then you have a lot of leeway to mess with it and get the gain just right for what you're going for. But I, I like it with everything on stun and just go for it you know and if you do it that way it's not really going to be super friendly with other pedals because the gain is just so crazy um, and if you do use a noise suppressor um, at least the one i have i have the boss ns2 um, if you use that and you put it after then you're just clamping all the high end just goes away so i tried to put it afterwards before and it just even with the effects loop and all that other stuff, I've tried to use it that way and it just kind of kills the whole thing. Um, I mean, you can get rid of 
that noise, but you're still you're getting rid of other stuff that's actually good about the pedal. So that's why I don't do it that way. So um, you know, and I'm you know I don't always. This isn't the destroyer. Isn't a pedal that I have on my board. It's a pedal that I use, you know, here and there for fun, or if I'm doing a specific sound or a job, uh, you know, if I'm doing doom type riffs or whatever, stone or rock type stuff, and I'm having fun, or if I need it for specific sound in a song that I'm recording. But it's not something that stays on my board or anything like that because it's just too much. And my Fender Deluxe Reverb doesn't get along with it when i kick it on the volume goes up like 20 uh db and it's just crazy but the marshall whatever whatever goes on in the marshall it compresses it down so it doesn't get crazy like that especially if you have it on a crunch channel if i have it on the clean channel then it'll get loud again but if you already have some distortion on or drive on your amp before hitting it with the destroyer your level should compress down a little bit. So that's the trick with that and and volume knobs too. So let's see, I'm gonna try the Screamer into the Destroyer and have it on the left. Uh, let me switch that, sorry. I'm gonna do the Screamer where it's at and then this circuit on the Destroyer and you'll hear what that can do. So first I will do the Destroyer and then kick on the JHS Screamer so you can hear that. So as you can tell, uh, there's, it kind of helps 
bring out some upper mid range when you uh, put the screamer in there. It's subtle, but when you take it in and out, you can really hear a difference in uh, saturation and it's over the top saturation, you know, and can be useful for certain things, especially if you're, you know, holding out higher notes and get that crazy morphe, almost like a wah kind of thing going on because the frequencies are just like riding the waveform. Um, and I don't know, I just like it, man. I just like it, it's crazy. So then you also um, have the capability of, I don't know if you, if you were paying attention, you saw me mess around with the JHS and I pulled the volume knob back and that's kind of like pulling the guitar's volume back a little bit, not exactly the same, but, but the same idea of starving the pedal after it a little bit. And it kind of cleaned up that fuzz, thinned it out a little bit less saturated because the signal it's getting isn't as uh, strong, but you could tell it's still the, this pedal, the destroyer was still keeping it sustained because that's how crazy the fuzz distortion circuit is. It's just full out on. <laughs> so um, that's the best way I can say it. It's just on stun 24 seven. So, so now I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to mess around just a little bit over this uh, drum pattern that's up from a superior drummer and you know and that way you can hear it like with drums and stuff like that so I have it like a slow groove on loop and I think I'm gonna try to incorporate the Moog Mooger Fugger <laughs> Moger Fogger and I'm gonna try to put that in there um, and see what that does in the middle of all this noisy mess. So stick around if you, if you want to. Um, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel cause um, I'm all about, we are all about experimenting with guitar pedals, drum machines, synthesizers, um, outboard gear, plugins, Pro audio stuff, uh, native instruments, machine, you know, anything like that. Anything that has to do with music production, but also like sound design, experimenting, coming up with just whatever, just seeing what things do, you know, just putting things together and seeing if we can break them or make them like do something different for ourselves. Um, and that's it. I like to just try to find different sounds and mess around and that's, it's a fun thing for me, so. So let's see, I am going to start the drums. I'm going to turn my mic off.
All right, so <sighs> that's the demonstration for today. Um, if uh, you see this in the future, uh, welcome. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell, stay notified. Um, we're all about experimenting and seeing what things do. What does this pedal do? Um, so let's see. What does this pedal do? What does this pedal do before it goes into this pedal? And what does it do with this amp and all that kinds of stuff? But uh, also just anything audio, really. So if you're into that, hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell. That's it. I mean, uh, I just was uh, jamming with these stuff, experimenting. So I hit record and, well, I hit stream. So you know what I'm saying. But that Marshall, every time I think I'm going to sell it, I start playing it and I'm like, oh, this it's noisy, but I like it. It's noisy, but I like it. So definitely has a lot of tones in it. And, um, you know. And it really takes the destroyer well. And the uh, JHS tube screamer like just gives it it's crazy. This don't even have the drive up that much. And it just I don't know, it just does something to the tone of that 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 I don't it's really hard to hard to articulate. Um, but it's like a dry distortion type of thing and it's dope. Um, because you can like hear every little single note and every texture of what you're doing and it's not over the top distortion but it's enough to just give you that grit and and um play some darker passages and just really just does something special to the guitar signal into that amp at, at least not so not so much with my fender as much i mean it does stuff but it's just not it's not the same doesn't have the same tonality um but anyway that's the video and i'll see you in the next one bye